Hi everyone! You're probably wondering how to play your old Flash files on macOS. Especially now, when the browser version is discontinued and it's hard to find Flash Player for desktop. But it's actually easier than you think, and you don't even need a separate app for that. Some Mac multimedia players can open .swf files. The first player I want to present is El Media Player. It's awesome overall, not just for Flash. Unlike the other apps in this review, it actually supports interaction, with buttons and everything. El Media requires the Rosetta compatibility layer on M1 chips, but it works. This stuff makes me nostalgic, so many good games were made in .swf. To open your SWF, launch El Media Player, click File Open on the menu bar and select the file. If you want to open .swfs with a double-click, right-click one SWF file, then go to Open with Other, choose El Media Player, and tick Always Open With. Another thing that sets El Media Player apart from other Flash players is the quality of its player component. If you decide to open other formats, there are extra features like the video tuner with several useful effects, and the audio equalizer with 10 slider bands and presets. Bookmarking, playlist management, and full subtitle control, there's plenty this player has to offer. To top it off, El Media Pro can stream. It's compatible with AirPlay 2 and DLNA, both of which are ubiquitous nowadays. Chromecast and Chromecast Ultra are also supported. The list includes tons of devices Samsung, LG, Roku, and other popular brands. Overall, this is a great player that also plays SWF. IINA is one of the two main open source players on Mac OS. And it can, indeed, open SWF, but only non-interactively. This isn't too great, since the animations tend to have some sort of start button. As for the player itself, it's nice. The interface is clean and very customizable. The lack of streaming features sets it back, though. And I can see reliance on plugins being a problem in the future, when some popular plugin is discontinued. VLC is a competitor to IINA, it's a cross-platform open-source player. And much like IINA, it's non-interactive, so it's not exactly a solution for playing Flash files. It's strange that interactivity is not a feature, since VLC already supports DVD menus, and those work fine. As a media player, VLC is great. There's lots you can do in it, including conversion. But the interface leaves a lot to be desired. It's visually mediocre and a bit bloated, and it can be hard to find that one setting you need. Mago is a Blu-ray player for Mac, and, once again, it's non-interactive. Despite its compatibility with DVD menus. Thus, Mago has limited usefulness when it comes to .swf files. As a player it's nothing out of the ordinary. But I was shocked at the price. $19.99 is just a yearly subscription fee, the lifetime costs are $55, apparently. Is this player made of gold, or what? Anyway, as you can see, SWF compatibility is incomplete in many players that claim to support Flash files. So, in the end, I'd recommend sticking to all media player, it's the one that can actually play these files with some degree of interactivity. Thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe, and maybe give me some feedback in the comments. Bye!